Welcome back to Mr. Bunker's Gaming Bunker. I'm Mr. Bunker, and now we're going to be continuing with Lunar. Okay, so last we left off, we had just made it through the weird woods. And now we're going down to the south, to a city of Saith, so we can get onto a ship to go to Meribia, where Ramus wants to sell the Dragon Diamond. But before we do that, I actually kind of want to check out up top here because we saw there was a little hut so we got some dramatic music that's for sure all right and there's a treasure chest right out in the open but with a bug nearby Ooh. I guess that's a stag beetle Let's see how we fare, I suppose. Mutant ant. Let's start with just... We'll have Alex attack this one on the right. Or the bottom, I suppose. Bottom right. And then it doesn't matter who the others attack, really. Because the others aren't going to move, and I just kind of want to get the ants bunched up. But now we can see the sweet new explosion staff. And I was saying this took me a little while to realize, but it says Sword Dance. 1E, an explosion staff, enemy zone, is what the EZ stands for, and it's a pressure attack. So it's a zone of enemies. Very, um, Chrono Trigger style. <laughs> Alright. Boom. Ah. Well, you saw how the damage was yellow. That means that, um... That means they're resistant to that damage. It was not very effective. We made it through the battle using mostly regular attacks. What's the treasure chest? It's a trap! <laughs> we'll fight one of them. Why not? I like that they have trap treasure chests in this game. It's fun. Alright, some killer flies. Definitely doesn't sound good. Oh, okay. Yeah, these enemies are not difficult at all. Definitely not too much of a challenge. Let's see... For some reason, I kind of feel like there is, like, a secret if I go through here. But it's probably just some dialogue. Mm. Got herb. Ooh. I guess let's just trigger this. It's probably a trap. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. So we'll explore this kind of like, rah, kind of like the southern layer of this map. And then just head out. Oh. All right, poison and it did a ton of damage. So I guess that's the thing. I just need armor, or better armor rather, because they're just, they're doing like a ton of damage. Oh boy. Ooh, but can I? Yeah, I can get a bunch of them. Okay. But yeah, still nothing too scary. So. So. Yeah, I guess we'll come back here when we're supposed to. Because we're definitely not supposed to be here yet. <laughs> Run away. Let us continue with the story. Yeah, I love how the party follows your exact movements. You make little wee. Anyway. Into the town. Hey. Nice steampunk goggles. Welcome to the port city of Saith. Did you journey from Berg? Oh, I see. The fog has lifted from the woods. I'm so relieved to hear that. You're welcome to rest here as long as you like. You smell that? The whole town reeks of fish. I'm in heaven. 
Nal is our little guardian angel. Ha ha ha. Alright. Oh, we need healing, so... Ta-da! Free heals. Gotta love it. My wish is that the Magic Guild would discover a spell to turn water into chocolate. My wish is to find out where I came from. Aw. Why you gotta make it sad, Nal? Hello. Hey, a while ago some weird guy asked me if I knew a lady who's a good singer. I wonder if he was looking for Luna. Hmm, maybe. Alright. But these look like axes, so armor. Open the weapon shop of Saith. Yeah, they do have armor <laughs> at the weapon shop. Alright, everybody's decked out. Pleasure doing business. No, to no. It might be that Null eventually does run out of space. Can't remember. Let's save. Got new equipment, new town, all healed up. Mm hmm. That's what's attached. Oh, just a house. Hello, dog. I hate dogs. All they ever do is bark at me. Well, of course they do. Dogs and cats don't get along with each other. Oh, you are pushing it. <laughs> Hello, child. Wow, what the heck is that weird thing behind you? Weird? Me? This child is wise beyond his years. Probably nothing interesting. Eh, yeah, nah. Okay, well, we're looking for a boat. We're, we're looking for a boat. I'd stay out of here if I were you. You'll find a more you'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Plus the beer is watered down. That makes me want to go inside even more. He's trying to help us now, isn't he? I suppose so. This looks like where we would find a ship. Excuse me. Can I get a ship? You wanna board the ship to Moravia? Sorry kids, but that's completely out of the question. No, the ship is fine. It's kind of a long and embarrassing story. Talk to the chemist in the back room if th for all the sordid details. Looks very captain-y. <laughs> Ahoy, mateys. I'm the captain of the Hispaniola, bound for Moribia. The sea is tossing so hard that I need me sea chart to navigate it, but uh, I seem to have gambled it away. Arr, that scurvy dog, he won't be so lucky next time. I'll have a rematch or his head, I tell ye. What's a sea chart? Some kind of really yummy fish? No, silly. It's a map of ocean sailors use to avoid hazards. All right, so we need a map. The ship to Moribia hasn't sailed yet. What's going on? I have to return there to close a big business deal. If I miss it, I lose big bucks. Feel your pain, sir. Time is money. The captain, the captain was fooled into losing his sea chart in a game called Game. Wow. In a card game with an infamous gambler named Brett. The captain is a fine sailor, but the worst poker player in history. The man's eyes twinkle with delight every time he gets two cards with the pretty pictures on them. Now I have a port full of angry passengers, drunken sailors, and rotting cargo. Lovely. Brett, he's gloating at the bar. Okay. To the bar we go. My store went bankrupt. My wallet was stolen. I'm the unluckiest man of all of Saith. I'm so sorry, sir. He's not talking to you, Luna. He's talking to his beer. <laughs> How are? Hey, what are you kids doing in here? My first new customers in hours and they're underage. I need something to bring in new patrons. Anything. Howdy, son. My name's Brett. I reckon I'm the best there is when it comes to gambling. I ain't talking to you till you gamble with me first, understand? Pardon? You want the sea chart? Hmm. Gamble with me and I reckon we can talk. How about it? I reckon we will. Alright then, let's play for a hundred silver. We'll start with a real easy game, son. I toss a coin, you guess heads or tail. Call it. Let's do... Book. So sorry, son. It's heads, not tails. Shame, ain't it? But I reckon that's why they call it gambling. Uh... Lost a hundred silver. Just one more game, son. I don't want to leave you broke. Heads or tails? Let's do... Heads or bust? Dag, nab your luck, son. It's tails. I win again. 
Lost another hundred silver. Hmm. Hey, Alex. Did you look at the coin he's using? I mean, really look. What do you mean, Ramus? The coin he flips isn't the same as the coin he shows us. Brett is switching after the toss. What? Are you sure we should be accusing the best gambler in this town of cheating? Come on, Nal. If anyone knows anything about money, it's me. Let's do it one more time. It'll be fun, I promise. All right. You kids back? Come on now, I don't want to win no more of your allowances. It just ain't right. We want to make things more interesting, Brett. We want to bet this. Bet the poop nugget. Bet the dragon diamond. Ramus, you better be sure about what you're doing. You didn't come all the way to Saith to lose a diamond on a coin flip. Holy goddess Altina, I reckon that's the prettiest rock i ever seen. You got yourself a bet, son. Ah, there, see? So, Ramus's plan was to beat up Brett. Sheer genius. Put that coin down, boy. Why, Brett, so I don't notice it has two heads. Brett, you're nothing but a lying, cheating weasel. I knew the coin was fake when I heard it hit the table. A real coin makes a deeper clink. Oh dear, I've been caught by a child. If news of this were to travel, I'd be ruined, you naughty, beastly boy. Got all our winnings, or losings back. I see your accent was as fraudulent as your coins. Don't you know that you can't con a con? Alright, so yeah, you suck. Game over, Brett. Give us the C-chart. I'm, I'm afraid I don't have it. Please, don't shove me again. I bruise quite easily, and I'm a bleeder. What? He said we had to gamble for it. I said you had to gamble, but I never said I had the chart. You, you, ninny ninny dumb dumb poopy head. Um, well said, Nal. I traded the sea chart to an old woman in the forest northwest of Saith. She gave me this. We got the fortune cane. Take it with you. Perhaps the woman would trade again for this cane or something else. Why did you give us the cane, Brett? Well, I was hoping you brats, I mean, you darling children, keep our little secret. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> Heal up, because why not? And I'm definitely missing a lot of dialogue, but I don't think there's anything too much more than just dialogue. This one's kind of funny, though, I think. You're all dressed up for adventure, big guy. Will you take me with you? Mm -hmm. Luna's right there, so I don't think so. So, Alex, you had to think about the answer. Mm -hmm. What was going through your mind? I thought so. Just don't even look at me right now. Yeah, there's just no winning. <laughs> Fully equipped, so we should be good. And like I said, I'm going to try not to do too much grinding, just because I know it's not the most interesting to watch. <laughs> I also like that in this game, you know, it adjusts based on Alex's level, so... Even if Alex and the rest of my party aren't going to be as strong, the bosses aren't going to be as strong as well because Alex will be a lower level. So that's, you know, that's always cool. So it's kind of nice that the programmers, developers, put it into the game that if you want to grind, it won't be just super easy every boss fight. They'll still be difficult. And if you want, don't want to grind, the bosses won't be too hard because it's still based on level. All right. Oh, right. I wanted to do one other thing. Let's give... Yeah, this to... Luna. I kind of forgot about this. Bam. Look at that luck increase. Ooh, another starlight. So that... Oh, that... <laughs> that noise. I remember that... Mo yeah, let's just kill this thing so it doesn't keep making that noise some killer bees they're wasps excuse me <laughs> okay Alex can take out one of the killer wasps with one attack nice all right that worked out pretty well hmm I think I should do this because when they're asleep um, it does double damage for the f attack that wakes them up I'm nearly positive so there's that and also I always thought they were just those were just like um, like thought bubbles popping up over their head like it was like their dream thought bubble but now 
I'm realizing very clearly they are sheep that are running in place. They're very cute status ailments. <laughs> and the little sprites do look really cute when they're like this, like all droopy, like ooh. All right, who the hell Luna attack that one? So that one. Nice, oh, and there goes that one. Nice. Ooh, like 200 silver. Pretty good, pretty good. Another bug. Another probably trap. Yep. <laughs> Alex gained a level. And Ramus. Thank God. Ramus has got to get more beefy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me. I was adjusting my cord. Thank you very much. Another treasure chest hidden. Sneak behind. Uh, I really like that you can uh, avoid the enemies on the map, but I don't like how they can like, like, I don't know. They just detect you regardless of which direction they're facing. Like it's non-direction or it's, I guess, omnidirectional. <laughs> There we go. Luna is caught up. Da -dun -dun. We got our herb. Run away. Attract more enemies. <laughs> Run away. Ah. Cut me off. Okay. As long as Alex goes for this one, I should be okay. Be quick with that. Good enough. Ooh. 400 silver. Oh boy. Running. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, Grand Stream Saga, I would say, is definitely the most underrated. Ah. The most uh, underrated one that I really love. Of course, I forgot to heal again. All right, all right. Definitely something down here, huh? Yeah. Yep. Another trap. <laughs> Run away. Yeah, there's the item. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> run away. Ah, oh, nope. Didn't run away. That's okay. Am I done? Did I get all of the good and bad treasure chests? Hello. Yeah, I don't see anything down there, and that's where I came from, so run away. Aha ha oh. Alrighty, and Oh, this is the area I came from. Not dang it. Did I miss that treasure chest? Probably. Oh well. Probably another herb. Hey, we got cheerful music and our party's back out like this, which means no enemies. <laughs> I never really mentioned that before. What is this supposed to be? Some kind of booby trap? Can't imagine a creature dumb enough to stumble under this hey! thing. Hey there! Get me out of this thing! That sounded like it came from further up the trail. Those birds were frozen in place. No one's gonna question that. Hello? Who's in there? Um, what exactly are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing, peasant? I order you to release me from this contraption immediately. Sounds pretty rude, Alex. What are we gonna do? I say we leave him here. He isn't hurt, and I'm sure he'll get out of this thing eventually. Well, I'm tempted to agree. I think we should help him. Lake didn't desert us when he needed his help. I suppose you're right. Freedom. Hey there, kitties. My name is Nash, 
I'm a level three apprentice from the famous magic city of Vane that floats around the goddess tower. The area around the sea hag's house can be a little tricky, so be sure to watch your step around here, okay? <laughs> What are you saying? You're the one who was trapped, pal, not us. Would it kill you to let a thanks pass your lip? Who, me? I'm third rank of the Magic Guild and the best magician in my age group. I'm also president of the powerful sage Galleon. How dare you say I was trapped when I was just, uh, when I was investigating how silly this silly device was made. This is why I hate leaving the city. You country folk don't have any manners. You've been yelling at us since we got you out of that trap and we don't have any manners? Hello, Nash. My name is Luna. We are all travelers from the village of Berg. These are my friends, Alex, Ramus, and Nall. Are you also going to visit the old woman? You should join us. It would be much safer for us to travel together. Go with you? Well, protecting beautiful women and simpletons is the duty of every magic good member. All right, I will travel to the hag's house with you. I just hope you all appreciate my exceedingly kind gesture. Mm, I think I have a headache. I think Nash is a headache. You said you were from Berg Village, didn't you? I've heard that a girl with a wondrous singing voice lives there. Do you know of her? I know Luna is really good, but I don't know about wondrous. You're the singing princess of Berg. I would love to hear you sometime, Luna. Well, all right. All right, I'll hold you to that. Now let's ha go have a few words with this old hag. Put you in charge, Buster. Alex, Skype bugs me a lot. All that's in this trap is a banana. Still hungry, Nash? Are you talking? So yeah, Nash is a douche. He's got a sweet water cane, which does splash magic, some robes, bracelet, a bandana, and then he's got Mia's bromide, number one, and it's Nash's treasure. So let's check this out. Yep, it's just a creepy picture that he carries with him all the time. <laughs> like, it's weird because you assume that it's a painting. So she was like, it was like a candid shot, but a painting. Anyway, let's uh, get into a battle real quick. I just want to test something. Oh, dang it, Nash. I forgot to change his position. Position. But we got our mage. We got our white mage here, Luna. And we got our useless. And then we got our mage mage, our black mage. Okay, and there we go. That's what I thought. Yeah, one of the things I love about this game is being able to go into your items and use weapons as usable items. Yeah. So you can do water magic because he has a water cane. But if you just attack with it, he just walks up and attacks like this. And Nash is super fast. Useful. Alright, we got Nash moved around a little bit, so that's good. We're getting a good stockpile of silver. Let us save. Yay! Back to the cheerful music. Chicken? I bet these poor chickens are food for someone. Well, I mean, if you think about it, literally every chicken is food for someone. Even if they're wild chickens that kind of die out in the wild, they're food for the worms and the bacteria that decompose them. Or they're food for whatever other predator hunts them down. Get in, get in the hut. Yep. Dog, please. Thank you. Is it down here? Yeah. God, the friggin... Okay, so we got a locked chest here. Look at all these books. Healing Herbs Illustrated. Magician's Desk Reference. Tongue of Frog. It's not just for breakfast anymore. That's the other white meat. I think that's enough reading for one day, don't you? I agree. There are so many animals around here, Alex. Someone has some major duty duty, I bet. 
<laughs> duty, duty. Yuck, what's that smell? Looks like there's a frog in there, or a snake, or both. I don't feel so good. It's definitely a matter of having to get around stuff sometimes, which is frustrating. What I find annoying is go going through doors sometimes, or doorways, can be a little tricky. Like if you're right up against the wall sometimes, it messes it up. I found that you have to kind of get a running start at some doorways, and then you kind of bounce around on the edge like that. But if you just kind of go at it at the wrong, I don't know. I get hung up on doors sometimes. Oh, see, this is perfect example. Get out of the way, chicken. Thank you. I can't remember what game it is, but there's a game where if it I'm, was it Wild Arms? I don't think so. There's a game that's very similar to this, but if you push up against a character or an NPC for you know less than maybe half a second, then you actually do like phase through them. And I felt like that was a huge, huge like quality of life improvement. I'm just like, oh, so they actually are there and you actually physically bump into them. But if you're clearly just stuck in an area where you need to pass the NPC, the game's like, okay, I see that and just lets you pass through them. Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> Wish I could remember exactly what game it was. So the hag must be up here. Oh, there she is, <laughs> hidden behind the book uh, shelf, or I guess it's just a shelf. Oh, I can't read any of her personal stuff. Okay. She's got, she's got a nice look about her for an old hag. She's got a sweet little side hat, some sweet silver hair. You're killing it, girl. On the pricking of my thumb, something tasty this way comes. Uh, um. Hello, children. Don't you look delicious or delightful? What is your business with me? You want the sea chart? Well, since I assume you won't part with your tasty little pet there, will you trade me the water cane? What? This is... I, I was given this cane by Galleon when I left Vane. I'm not about to exchange it with a warty old hag for a crummy old map. We need the sea chart, Alex. What do we do? Would you like me to ask him, Alex? Nash seems to be fond of me. Yeah, he's a friggin... Anyway. He's a douche. No way, Alex. No. That's not Alex. That says Luna. No way, Luna. The only thing that this egomaniac understands is tough talk. Ramus can do it. You're obliged to help us, Nash. We helped you escape that trap in the woods when you were screaming like a little girl, and now you'll help us get to Moribia by giving up that silly little cane of yours. Do you see what I'm saying? What are you talking about? I was merely inspecting that trap. I wasn't caught in it. It's moments like this that remind me of why I'd test backward inbreds. Nice negotiating, Ramus. Now what are we going to do? All right, so that was wrong. Time to try again. A trade goes both ways, kids. Hand over the water cane and I'll give you the sea chart. Alex. One more time. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, Alex. How about giving Luna a try? All right, Ramus, here goes. Nash, without the sea chart, we can't sell to Moribia and we desperately need to go. I'm begging you. Please, will you trade your cane with the old woman? Uh. Hey, Nash. Need help picking your jaw off the floor? I, uh, well... Luna, there's no way I can turn down a woman as lovely as you. Here you go. Thank you, kitties. And here is the sea chart. Got the sea chart. Hooray. Oh, yeah, and that means I need to give... Small bow. And now... Oh, God, there is something... There is one thing I could do. I don't want to do it. But I'm going to save, and I'll show you guys what happens when you talk to the hag a second time. After she takes your fancy water cane. You know, these days, my magic isn't what it used to be. With this staff, at least I can feel safe when I go walking. Well, that's nice. Say, won't you let me watch your cat for you? My stew pot's just not the same without some tender meat in it. Alex, you and I are best friends, right? Then let's go before she decides to cook you, too. You can't take a joke, cat. Besides, with the staff, I can catch my own cats for supper. What's this? Oh my, you found my favorite cane. Give it here. Gave the fortune cane. 
I've looked everywhere for this. How nice of you children to bring it to me. <laughs> this hag is shameless. One more snappy remark and I'll turn you into soup that eats like a meal, cat. Of course I was just kidding, cat. I'd never cook you. <laughs> Hold me, Alex. Hold me and don't let me go till we're out the front door. So yeah, and that's the end of it. She never gives back anything. She just takes your stuff. If you want to read all the cool, funny dialogue, you lose your sweet fortune cane. Uh, I'm going to load up so I don't forget and accidentally save. Because I want that fortune cane. I like it. And it never happened. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to catch the show live, just look for Mr. Bunker's Gaming Bunker at twitch.tv. And don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe, all that sort of stuff. And yeah, have a good one. someone's food eventually will die and decompose <laughs>